New at 5, you could call it the board game of the future. A Bay Area company launched a new video game console today. KPIX 5's Mary Lee is here to tell us how it's taking a high-tech spin on some traditional games. Mary? That's right, Ken and Liz, and I gotta say, it's pretty cool. Well, it's the newest augmented reality video game console to hit the market. I got the chance to test it out with the company's CEO. Awaiting orders. This is Playtable. It's the first ever gaming console with 70 antennas underneath the screen to bring any toy to life. Block Party CEO Jimmy Chen showed us how it works and even challenged me to a game. I have these cards over here. Don't peek. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, t use um, a, a spell called Ice Beam. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use Ice Beam. And the way that you play the card is you're going to take it. And you're gonna, uh, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna play it just like this. Oh, cool! Whoa! Every card has a specific feature to help conquer your opponent, but when you're playing against the company's CEO, cool. you know you're gonna lose. Ooh, plasma beam! I'm gonna try that one. So go ahead and try that. And then just hit it, put it down. Yep, put it down anywhere on the board. Awesome. So you can see here, there's a wall right in front of you. <laughs> I've been a gamer all my life. And, and, you know, and I've always had this obsession with, with playing with toys, playing with board games, and also playing with digital games. And I think this was a way for me to really live that kind of life through this. You know, and what better way than, than to build a product that you want to play with? The gaming industry rivals film, music, and the TV industry. Last year, it brought in $106 billion globally and $36 billion in the U.S. We sat down with Justin Haywald, managing editor for the website GameSpot. He told us gaming companies are constantly striving to up their game in tech innovation. Video games are, are constantly pushing technology, pushing those boundaries, and, and seeing where they go. Like, I think in a lot of ways, video games kind of precede what we're going to see in movies and TV. And Playtable costs $349. They'll start shipping it out later this year. Liz?